Welcome to Red Wine Review number two. Second one ever. First one was a wine called Ella Negra and it was absolutely honking. I don't know if you've tried it already, but I do not recommend it. But if you want a wine that tastes of bulk sweat, maybe some of your girls do and maybe some of your guys do, go and try it. Anyway, the most talked about wine, I would think, and recently since I've been drinking red wine, I've not been really been drinking red wine that much for, for that many years, but in the recent year or two years, what do people keep talking about? Chateau Neuf de Pap? No, 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 no. Rioja? Maybe Rioja. No. Number one, it's 19 crimes. Boom. That's what I say to that, 19 crimes. So when I first heard of 19 Crimes, I was off a friend, he said, you need to try this 19 Crimes. I remember walking by in the shops and thinking, doesn't it look like a red wine? It looks a bit funky. Um, I don't know if I like it. So I waited a few weeks and then I eventually bought a bottle and then ever since then, it just goes down too smoothly. That's the thing. Before I forget, Anyone who's watching this who doesn't know me and who is, isn't a member of the Red Wine Club, who doesn't know, I do not know very much about red wine. Sorry. I drink red wine sometimes. I enjoy talking about it sometimes. I taste it. I'll tell you how I think it is. I'll leave you a review of the cost, of the looks, of the smell, of the taste, and that's it. So if you're expecting some nice posh guy from a vineyard to tell you about the berries and how medium bodied it isn't, that's not me, so sorry, turn it off now. But anyway, so 19 Crimes, like i done with the last one, broke the review down into three things. Numero uno, the looks of the bottle. Number one, how does it look? Well, how does it look? It looks, it doesn't look like a, a normal standard red wine, does it? I mean, look at it. Looks bum good. The label, you've got a war veteran on the label. War veteran, and it's got a story behind it. That's what we love because a lot of the red wines out there just tell you the same fucking shit, doesn't it? Yes, it was got in a vineyard in Bordeaux, and some guy squeezed the berries with a tractor tire and it squirted the juice into a bottle and it sat there for four years. We put a label on it and then put it in Tesco. Boring. This one here tells us all about it. A liquid ode to our past 19 crimes is inspired by those who, beginning in 1788, were transported to Australia for a life of hard labour. Many did not survive the journey for the sea beating people who made it ashore. A new world awaited. Wow. So you're on your seat, edge of your seat even. Like, wow, what's this? As pioneers in a harsh frontier colony, they forged fresh pass pathways and built new lives from their checkered past brick by brick. This wine honours the history they wrote and the culture they built. Wow! It's just getting some wee army guy on the front and looks good. Got a story behind it. Also, I thought this was a bit of a piss take at first, but it's not. If you download the Living Wine Labels app, you get an app and you scan it, the guy actually starts talking and tells you a story of why you get captured when he was a war veteran. So, not the rest of the right red wine bottle, looks wise, I think, out of the park. And, oh, definitely, definitely up there with probably the best to my looking bottle, I'd say. It's only my second review, so I'm gonna give it a nine, nine out of 10, because that, I don't wanna give it a 10 yet, because I've not really sampled enough but that is very close to a 10. But I'm going to give it four looks. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. So the next point we do for this, I'll get my glass first because I forgot to get that, is open the bottle because I've drank some already. Because <laughs> it's that good. So, about the smell. Again, I don't know what I'm looking for. What I want to smell, but tell you. Get it on there, eh? May as well. Why not? It smells good. 
it's kind of, it smells kind of a bit fruity. It's not too tangy. Sometimes you smell red wines and they, they get a bit tangy on the nostrils. And you go, ah, it smells a bit cheap, you know, a bit kind of, that kind of afterburny. Do you ever get that way where you can smell it and you think, that doesn't smell, it smells like that. It's like a wedding wine. I think I mentioned that last week. It's sort of house wine you get where it looks okay. You pick it up and you go, ugh. Oh, that just smells, you know, it doesn't smell too harsh. You just smell a bit of the flavour. That's good. I know, that's good. It smells good. Looks 9 out of 10. Smell. You can bear in mind, actually, it's a 14% wine. 14%. So it's up there with the strongest types of wines. Because I think they'll range from about 12% to 14 to 14 and a half. I don't think I've seen any stronger than that. Then you're on to port and all that shit, aren't you? Um, so 14%. So for a 14% wine, it doesn't actually smell that strong. But it's just strong enough. It makes you go... Flares the old nostrils, you know. I'm going to give the smell 7 out of 10. Okay, so 9 for looks. Smell is 7. Because it's, it's could be slightly better. But 7 still good in my books. I used to drink wine. It was fucking... It was, I mean, it's classic. It's 3 out of 10. So, a smell and a wine at 7 out of 10. It's up there. Last but not least, the taste. What it's all about. I don't actually know what you look for when you're drinking a red wine. Because you don't just buy it for the bottle, do you? Because the bottle could be look amazing and you open it up and it could taste like shit. It could smell like shit. Like the last week's wine, Isla Negra, smelled horrible, tasted horrible. A bottle just looked like... Just a horrible wee bottle, to be honest. So, the taste. Cheers, everybody. If you're watching this, thanks very much. Join the club. You know, it tastes good. One thing I'll say is with this wine, which I've, it's just definitely, 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 definitely hits me. First thing I think of is smooth. It glides down the esophagus, right down the throat. You know, sometimes you drink wine, it feels a bit, a bit sticky, but I don't know how to describe it. Maybe a bit too much berries, too thick. You know, it's not a good feeling, that glides, glides down your throat. And the only thing I would say is a problem with that is it gets you pissed pretty quick because 14% of a gliding wine can only really lead one way. So you need to be sensible with this wine. Otherwise you've got like that war veteran, you're in the fucking jail. That's why. <laughs> I'm going to take another drink of that because it's smooth. Cheers again. It's not too fruity. It's just good. Yeah, it's good. If you're buying a red wine, this is what this is one of the ones you need to go for. Smooth, like an Australian beach volleyballs. Females buttocks. Not males. Males have rough buttocks. Female Australian volleyball players have smooth buttocks. Like the smooth Australian. 19 creams wine. Sorry, can we be off track there? But yes, taste. 8 out of 10. 8. Giving it an 8. Because I've tasted some honking wines, you've probably done that yourself. The taste. As we as we get into this, these red wine reviews even more, there'll be more tastes, and I'll probably develop a different palette possibly and be able to tell you different flavours but this at the moment is what I would definitely recommend to buy 8 out of 10 for the flavour so we get 9 for looks the bottle boom 9 looks great bit of story behind it you can scan an app uh, through an app and the bottle talks to you unknown in red wines smell 7 out of 10 nice flavour no afterburn smell doesn't burn the fucking nostrils off you 8 out of 10 for taste could you get better I think you can get it on offer for 7 quid so it's not too dear, it's not the cheapest shit, it ticks all the boxes, 
9 and 7 is 16, plus 8 is 24, divided by 3, average 8 out of 10, average for 19 crimes. So, if you're asking me, would I buy it? 100% yes. It's easy to drink, strong enough to get a good wee buzz off it, and it's got all the flavours in it that makes you feel good. So, go and buy yourself a bottle. If you're watching this, leave me a comment below, or give me a like or a share or something. If you're not in the Red Wine Club, inquire about it, some buzz. Get involved. Thank you very much.